one week fantasy football on DraftKings, he can be the difference. So trust your gut. Trust your numbers. Trust your Uncle Vito if you want. But know this, that sleeper is out there. The question is, who's going to play him? This is DraftKings. Welcome to the big time. To create your account, click on the banner link on the DougStewartShow.com or the Doug Stewart Show app. Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. That's right. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, watch your videos, and view all your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BV Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bvmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's bvmobileapps.com and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. Footballsportsapp.com. What is it? It's the first live action mobile sports app played in real time and a cool way to emerge yourself in the game. Make coaching calls just like the pros. Check out the video. Download for free this fall and register now again at footballsportsapp.com. Want to be part of this new exciting technology and make money? Fill out the short form at the bottom of the website and mention TDSS. Again, footballsportsapp.com. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. And we're brought to you by FootballSportsApp.com. The first live action mobile sports app played in real time and the cool way to get in the game. Uh, make coaching calls just like the pros, man. Um, going to be telling you a lot more about it coming up here very soon. Uh, this is going to be an incredible thing, man. You can join up for our football parties, which happen here um, very soon. And I know I've been saying that for a couple of weeks now, but they still uh, have yet to release the app, United Games. But I'll be telling you more details about it, man. Go to footballsportsapp.com and check out all the details of what I got going on with United Games and this uh, uh, revolutionary app that's coming down where it's kind of like fantasy and football all mixed into one, coaching and everything, real, real cool technology. That's footballsportsapp.com. Um, you talk about can't get right. Uh, before I get to that, though, let me give a shout-out to the uh, Chicago Cubs, man, and the Cleveland Indians, your World Series participants. Ball award to both of them. The Cubs hadn't been to the World Series since 1908. That's like, that's like one of the most unbelievable stats that I've ever heard um, in sports, where a team in a city that's so baseball-happy and an organization that's, you know, kind of like one of the cornerstones of the league, haven't been to a World Series in over a hundred years, 1908. But the Chicago Cubs have done it, um, as well as the Cleveland Indians, another city and another team that hadn't been to the World Series in a long time. The last time that they won the World Series was in 1948. So you got two teams, two sports programs or organizations Midwest organizations that love their baseball um, are playing in the World Series against each other. Once again, 1948 for the, the Indians, the last time they won a World Series. And 1908, the last time that the Cubs have been to one. This is going to be an incredible, an incredible uh, World Series. I'm actually going to watch. I'm actually going to watch, man, and see what goes on. Theo Epstein, obviously... Uh, uh, coming in there a couple of years ago and has turned it around. He's got to be one of the greatest GMs in the history of baseball. Um, so we'll definitely uh, keep our eyes on the World Series. And ball award to them. Cleveland, they can't, they can't. I mean, do anything wrong. 
yeah, the Cavaliers won a championship last year in the NBA, and now the Cleveland Indians are in the World Series. Shouts out to Cleveland. Y'all get a ball award, I guess. Uh, Buster Award to uh, Geno Smith. Geno Smith starts in his first game <laughs> for the New York Jets since December 28, 2014, and calmly gets hurt in the second quarter. Yeah, you talk about can't get right like that dude from life, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Geno Smith can't get right. Okay, last year he was set to start for the Jets. This is a team that drafted him in the second round. Oh, yeah, and by the way, uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick comes in the game and, and goes on to win, beating the Baltimore Ravens on yesterday. You know what happened last year. Geno Smith in training camp gets in this fight with I, uh, I.K. and Compali and breaks his jaw, has his mouth shut, wired shut for like a month or whatever, loses his job to Ryan Fitzpatrick, kind of gets Wally pipped. Ryan, uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick comes in there and has the career year of his life. Um, signs a new deal. Geno can't get back in then. Finally gets in. Ryan Fitzpatrick sucks. And within a quarter and a half, Geno Smith is out with an injury. And Ryan Fitzpatrick comes in the game and promptly wins. Yeah, yeah. So real, real uh, tough day for him yesterday, man. Just can't get right. The Jets go ahead and get a win, though, um, with Ryan Fitzpatrick once again at the helm. 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. Baller Award to the Penn State Nittany Lions as they have the big upset of the weekend. Ball Award to them. As they beat Ohio State in Happy Valley, 24 to 21. Ohio State definitely ball award to Penn State. Let's give them some credit. Um, but really, a stir up in the top of the uh, AP 25 this past weekend is Alabama. Do the damn thing. Ball award to the Alabama Crimson Tide. Nick Saban, uh, 33 to 14. I tweeted out there this weekend. After seeing the score to that game, you do know that the spread on that game was 19 points by Vegas. You do know, you, you do know that, right? <laughs> you remember that line in Outcast song, who else want to F with Hollywood Court? Who else want to F with Vegas? 19 points was the spread, and Alabama goes on to beat Texas A&M by 19 points. And the other... Uh, a couple other scores. Ball award to Michigan, who moves up in the polls as they destroy Lovey Smith and his Illinois fighting Illini. I mean, I root for Lovey Smith, man, but Illinois, they, they just, it's a bad, bad program. I'm sorry. Now, you're talking about doing a resurrection type deal, all right? The Chicago Cubs in the World Series. You give a lot of that credit. To uh, Joe Madden, the manager, and Theo Epstein, once again, the general manager. Um, but if you can turn around Illinois, I've been alive. Next month will be 47 years. I don't ever remember Illinois being good. They had, they did have a couple of players. They had Simeon Rice. Um, they also had, I can't remember his first name right now, Hardy. Played linebacker for the Jacksonville Jaguars. A couple of years they've had some solid players, but I can't ever remember Illinois being tough. So this is definitely... A hard task for uh, Lovey Smith as they get destroyed 41-8 to this past weekend. And the Washington Huskies, uh, they destroyed Oregon State Ducks uh, or Beavers 41-17 to this weekend. Here's your Associated Press top 10. Uh, coming in at number 10, West Virginia. Coming in at number 9, Texas A&M. Number 8 was Baylor. Number 7 is Nebraska. Number 6 dropping all the way down. Four spots is OSU. Uh, number five is Louisville. Bookmark that for a second. Number four is Washington, the Huskies. Number three is Clemson. Number two, Michigan. Number one, Alabama, as they destroy Texas A&M once again. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. We got to this kind of deep debate conversation a couple of weeks ago about, you know, this top four and who's going to play in the college football playoffs uh, it, it, this thing is really forming up, shaping up to be exactly what I talked about a couple of weeks ago. Alabama shouldn't lose 
in the SEC. They're at number one right now. That's a spot for them. The Michigan Wolverines, if they handle their business against Ohio State, which Ohio State could win that game, but one of these teams, uh, Ohio State and Michigan, right now, watching Michigan over the last couple of weeks, the start of the season is 7-0 and right now. If Michigan holds uh, form, they'll get a spot. The Clemson Tigers should win the ACC. they get a spot in the Pac-10. Is it the Pac-10 or the Pac-12? Washington Huskies should get a spot as well. Remember, they're one of the teams in the Power Five conferences. Now, Louisville is right there at number five, and a lot of people want to see, myself included, would love to see Lamar Jackson and that Louisville program get a shot in these playoffs and go up against the quote-unquote big boys, the elite programs in college football. So they're right there. One of the teams lose ahead of them. Um... You know, maybe they'll have an opportunity. But here's the thing about it. I think even a one-loss team like in Ohio State, if they were to beat Michigan, they might leapfrog Louisville. Uh, So we're definitely going to watch for this, man. It's going to be a very interesting end of the year and uh, playoffs this year in college football, man. But ball award to Alabama, uh, which they look like a machine. The Hurst kid looks like an absolute uh, stud. Uh, Jim Harbaugh is coming to Michigan and done the damn thing. Clemson just continues to win. Um, and Washington, man, uh, them Huskies for real. Yeah, so ball of war to all of those programs this weekend. From J.B. Jennings, he says, Louisville should be in the playoffs. They're a top three team, sir. I mean, they look like they're a top three team to me, but they got to do it on the field, bruh. They got to do it in the field, and I doubt very seriously two teams, one with a loss, Louisville already has a loss, will come out of the ACC, one conference. See, that's the problem with this 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 playoff thing. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, is they got five Power Five conferences or five Power conferences, but they only got four spots. This is something they got to address. I can't believe they let it happen like this. I think it should be eight teams, and then you wouldn't have any of this this conversation. But they've got a loss. I mean, and they don't re- have a a relatively strong name as a football program. I mean, they aren't. I mean, they're a basketball program. Well, that's how we kind of look at, um, and I say we, I'm talking about people that watch college football and probably the voters as well. You know, it's Louisville, and they came from the American Conference and this, that, and the other, so they'll probably get dinged for that a little bit. We'll see. Um, Lamar Jackson had another fantastic weekend this past weekend. 20 for 34, 355 yards passing, throws three touchdowns. He also rushes for 76 yards and, and runs for one touchdown as well. I mean, he's pretty much got the Heisman Trophy locked up unless something real crazy happens. So he's balling. I would love to see him play in the college football playoffs. I would love to see them match up with Clemson again. I would love to see what they could do against the Big Tens, you know, Michigan Wolverines and Jim Harbaugh and Alabama. You know, I think Alabama right now, man, is just they're just too strong on the offensive and defensive lines. Uh, they're going to be hard – to put out this year in the playoffs, man. They look like a pro team out there on the football field, man. 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. We get back from the break. All we're going to do is read chat. That's all I'm going to do. Thank you, Stewies. Hey, man. Three hours of the Doug Stewart Show. Coming up very, very soon. I know I've been promoting that as well, but trust me, that is going to happen Three hours, Monday through Friday, of the Doug Stewart Show, as well as a bunch of other little surprises. We'll be telling you more about that in the next days and weeks. When we get back, we read, chat, we continue to do what we do. This is a Man Talk Monday. Don't go away. What is ID like? Well, over the last 18 years, a group of scientists and doctors have been working on the development of a -a one-of-a-kind nutritional supplement program that takes all the guesswork out of what you need and delivers your truly personalized pharmaceutical-grade nutrition with your name on it directly to your door. Through the integration of thousands of medical and scientific studies, answers you provide to the free assessment and more than 5,470 algorithms that process the data ID Nutrition recommends what you need, leaves out what you don't, and blocks things known to the system that have possible adverse effects based on the answers you provide. 
The result is a program that is revolutionizing the health and wellness industry. Welcome to ID Life. For more information, just go to the Doug Stewart Show. IDLife.com. That's